Hi everyone, it's Becca here with Miller's Crossing Design. And today I'm gonna to show you how to spruce up a little vintage chair that I picked up for just a few dollars. Actually, let's see, I picked it up for $8.50. I really love the patina that I already had on it, so I'm not gonna cover it too much. Uh, it's not a real sturdy chair, but I think it'll look great as a little side table or just sitting in a corner with a cool pillow. So um, even though it's already vintage, I wanna give it another little vintage twist and I'm gonna show you how I do that today. Um, so I'll be back in just a second with my supplies. Okay, so I've got my paint color here. I'm going with Fancy Farm Girl. I want it to look like it's already been painted green and then years and years of wear and tear, that green has faded. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do today. So my supplies are water, a water bottle, uh, green paint called Fancy Farm Girl by DIY Clay Paint, and a chip brush. And you can find these chip brushes cheap at any uh, hardware store, or paint store, or, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and I have a little piece of paper here that I'm just gonna kind of like blot my brush on. So I'm just gonna get uh, the brush, the water is for my brush. I'm gonna get my brush just a little bit wet so it's not, you know, so I can mute the paint a little bit, but not too much. I'm just gonna dip a little bit into the Fancy Farm Girl and I'm just gonna kind of blot it so there's not too much on my brush. And I'm gonna start painting kind of just in the areas where the black isn't, okay? And I'm just going with just a little bit of pressure because I don't want a lot, I don't want it to be really deep. I'm just dry brushing it on. Actually not dry brushing because my brush is a little bit wet. If it was dry brushing, I would have a very dry brush. I almost am turning it kind of into a green stain. And I know I said I was just gonna cover it where the black is, but it really is so light because it's watered down that I don't really need to do that. I can sand, I'm gonna sand in those areas and the black is still kind of showing through. I want it to be a little heavier up here, so I'm just gonna put some heavier right here and here, maybe a little heavier right here, and then just kind of lightly on these other areas. Just kind of, maybe I'll go a little heavier on the seat in a few areas too. I'm gonna do a little bit on the sides. I'm just, I'm just gonna kind of swipe it so it kind of catches the edges here, but I'm not really covering it a whole lot with paint. It's just to give it a little bit of a hint of color. You wanna make sure that you grab the paint that's pulled on the side so you don't have drip marks. And again, I just use the side of my brush and I just kind of grab it. And same with in here on the insides. Again, I want this to look like it was painted green originally and it's just been fading through the years. bit on the legs, a little bit here and here. The legs aren't as important to me as the seat. I want the seat to be really green. I think I might add a little bit unwatered down so I can get some more on there. Because once it dries too, I'm gonna really sand it and use a black wax on it in certain areas too. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cover it a little bit more with green in some areas. Like maybe a little bit more over here. And if 
you see, if you do get a little bit too much paint on one area, you can spray it with your spray bottle and that's gonna help kind of mute it or, you know, get those strip marks or that heaviness to break up, which also gives it kind of a cool, cool aesthetic too. Maybe I'll do a little bit here so some of the wood pops through. You, this is another a cool way that you can also, so your brush marks don't, if you get some brush marks, you can break them up with the water. You can get some right there, maybe a little bit over there. What's cool about this technique is you really just no, don't know how it's gonna dry until it, until it dries and then it's like, wow, that looks so cool. It's really fun and of course I learned this from the beautiful Dion Woods of the turquoise iris. This was one of her tips. And if you can see, I'll pull this a little closer, I sprayed the paint so some of the wood is now coming through. Um, I think this is gonna look really cool and I will be back to show you what it looks like when it's dried and how I'm going to finish it. Hey guys, so I'm back and the chair is now dry. I'm gonna take DIY paint dark wax and I'm gonna use my Paint Pixie wax brush. It's very stiff, it holds a lot of the wax in it and it makes it easy for me to get in on the detail. And this is also gonna act as my top coat because you know this piece really isn't gonna be sat on a lot, it's just gonna be in a corner, it's gonna be kind of just a focal piece. So I'm not gonna go crazy with the top coat. So I've got a bunch of wax on here. I'm gonna start from one end and I'm just gonna kind of almost dry brush it on so it's not super heavy because I don't wanna cover the green too much but I wanna deepen it. And I'll take a t-shirt rag and kind of wipe off the excess too. This would actually even be really cute on a porch with like maybe, you know, a planter on it or some herbs or, you know, it doesn't have to end up in a landfill. It doesn't have to be used for its traditional use. It can be used for something else and it's got great detail, it's got great color. And it's different. It's different than you're gonna find at a box store or on your neighbor's porch. So that's really all there is to it. So I will show you a picture of it staged at the end of the video. And thank you for watching. I know this was a short, quick one, but sometimes projects are short and quick. And this was one of them. So I hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Please subscribe to my channel if you liked this and uh, I will give you more. Bye.